steps do athletes have to go through to get recruited, if you can go through that? One of the most important things that you want to do early in the process is get properly evaluated. Uh, this doesn't mean your dad's buddy that, work, that he works with that used to play college you know, sports back in the day, or the guy at your church that really likes sports and can tell you you're Division One. It doesn't mean that. It, get, it means get evaluated by a, a college coach that coaches and evaluates kids every day um, at that level. So figure out, you know, what types of schools you want to target. Then I think what you need to do is actually sit down and talk to family and say, what types of schools am I looking for? What's most important? Where do academics fit in to the mix? Uh, where does the budget fit in the mix? How much money do we have for college? You know, and, and what type of scholarship financial aid package do I need to be able to go to a college? You know, am I looking for a big school? Do I want to go to school far from home or close to home? Have that discussion and have a plan of what types of schools you want you want to um, look at. Then I think the next phase is a research phase. Uh, you want to research lots of different schools to see what's out there. We find that most uh, families and uh, athletes have no idea what's out there. They have no idea. Maybe the parents know what they went through, you know, 20 years ago, but things have changed and colleges are different. Um, we have, with our program, a college matching program that helps the, the athlete do this initial research, which is really cool. So they can go through and check out different schools that maybe they've never heard of that might be a great fit for them. Through that research phase, a really important step in the process is proactively sending your information and sending the, your interest in the schools that you're looking at. Not waiting for them to come to you, but you say, I want to look at these schools, I want to give them my information. Now, not every school that you send information to is going to recruit you, but at least they had a chance to look at your information, at least they had a chance to respond to you to see if you're somebody that they're looking for. So reaching out to lots and lots of schools. And then, um, you know, with that includes, uh, you know, during the research and reaching out phases, you know, making campus visits. And, and really, if I had to sum it up in one word, it would be being proactive, you know, being proactive about the process and, and going out and making uh, your recruitment process happen. Last phase would maybe be to uh, follow through. So a lot of times what happens is a, 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 an athlete reaches out to a coach and, you know, maybe they go on a campus visit uh, or maybe they have a couple emails back and forth. And the coach says something like, you know, all right, we'll be in touch. And then the athlete never, you know, just responds and just waits for that coach to respond back to them. And what the athlete needs to understand is this coach has hundreds of kids looking for that one spot. Now, obviously, you have to have the ability. You have to be somebody that the coach wants. But the coach is also looking for somebody who's interested in them. It's kind of a two-way street. Um, now, if you're really, if you're... 5'9", 125 pounds, and you're really interested in playing football at Notre Dame, it's probably not going to help you. you know. But assuming you're at the level that they're looking for, if you're really interested in them, and you say, I, I really want to go to your school, I really want to be in your town, I want to major in this that you guys specialize in, uh, you know, I like, you know, you, you want to take a personal interest in their school, that's going to help them say, oh, okay, then this guy's really interested, let's take a second look, a third look, and so on. So you want to be very proactively interested in them instead of just wanting them to be interested in you. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.